Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and we're doing a pet-based haul today. We're also answering a few questions that I noticed in the last upload in regards to non accessories. And I got a few questions, I would say like a couple videos ago about like some vitamins or whatever. So we kind of touched bases on all that. What, what I picked up today, I will be going live really soon. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow since it is Sunday. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Like a, I'll come up with something. Um, about this isolation period that I've been in. It's been really good, very awakening for me. Um, uh, very spiritual, very like um like I feel like it's something I should have been did. Like it's it's really it's been really good. And even though I'm here and I'm still surrounded by people, people still calling my phone, even though I'm telling everybody, hey, just give me like a 30 day period of just yeah. I still find time for that period and it's been really good. So anyway, let's get into a few things real quick. We're gonna talk about the haul, what I plan on doing in the next week or two because you know, your girl, she's looking good right here. I've been drinking this rice coffee, uh, not the coffee, the matcha. Let me show you. All right, I just went and grabbed it real quick. So I was supposed to do a video for them. I just haven't done it yet because I hadn't completed like all of the packs and I wanted to make sure I like did like the whole 30 day type of thing, which it's been 30 days. And I have since drank coffee every once in a while, like the espresso cup, but for the most part, I kind of stuck to like just drinking this and it's so good. All right, so what can we start with? This one is 100% vegan, functional, functional mushrooms, 1 billion CFU per serving. And this is the creamer. So this is the rice coffee, like creamer or whatever. It's, I think it's vanilla, probiotic creamer with mushrooms. And it says vanilla. Um. So this is okay in almond or like a nut milk, right? Heat it up in like my frother. I'm good with it. I still feel like it's not sweet for me. I feel like it has vanilla flavor with no sugar, that kind of thing. So this is okay. I don't I don't think I would buy it, okay? But I like the fact of everything that's in it, the benefits of it, and evidently, that's all I got left. Like I used it like every day. So whether I'm doing the coffee or the matcha, I don't know. I feel like if I had like a bundle and it was on sale, I would probably get it. But I don't see me logging in and just purchasing this off the site. Just in full honesty. Okay, y'all know me. All right, now, the mushroom matcha. I love it. All right, so this is a really good, highly concentrated matcha. Like, like when you think of matcha like grass matcha, this is what I got left in this one. I've been just drinking this like in the evening or not or night when I crave like that coffee, that warm, like something. This with that creamer, right? So this one is it's 100 percent vegan, functional mushroom, same thing, and it is rigorously lab tested. Okay. So I don't even know how much they tell you to put in here. I think it says one tablespoon per matcha. All right, that's what it says. Anyway, so I take the matcha with a warm nut milk and I just throw it in my um frother and just let it do its thing or I use my matcha whisk that I use to make matcha and I like this with the like a vegan creamer I'm gonna say that right I think it's a uh, califia something like that I like it with the vanilla but like I said there's no sweetness so if I do do it with the vanilla creamer because it makes it even thicker to me then I just add the date set syrup that's what I've been doing I told you all kind of got off of all that other stuff like agave or whatever and honey just mm -mm, does not take, taste good in matcha to me. Okay, it just takes over, it's too much for me. So I would recommend this. If you are a matcha drinker, like a real matcha drinker, not those matchas with added sweeteners, but a real matcha drinker, and you uh, appreciate the benefits, the energy that it gives you, the glow of the skin, there's no filter on here for you. I'm just saying, I've been working on myself, okay? I'm drinking a lot of water. And um, doing detox baths with like acid clay, detoxing my face, detoxing my scalp. I've been cleansing some things and I feel good. All right, so right here, rise. Go get that if you really want that. I don't have no link. I don't think so. I don't have a link. Yeah, I don't have a link. Um, they sent it to me to try and that was just it. I don't have a link. No discount or nothing. I bet it's one online. I bet you can go on TikTok and find somebody and support them and use their link. I'm just saying. All right, so this one, it says more than just coffee. People always ask me about the mushroom coffee. So, you know, I, I know me by the one from Whole Foods. I feel like the difference is this one a little bit more potent. 
This one right here keep you clean, keep you on flat. There's no bloat. I feel like after drinking this a couple of days, I feel like my stomach just keep going down, down, down. Like I feel like, like even though uh, I'm not doing the five workouts like I'm supposed to be doing, doing three, but I'm still doing the massages. I still feel like, let me show you. I still feel like like this part of me, I got this t-shirt up right here. But I still feel like this part of me, is like going down. Like it's not um, bloated right here like it would kind of like normally be. But I haven't been eating a lot of carbs either. You know I do eat some today. But I feel like, um, I don't know how to describe it, but I feel good. All right? And I don't feel bloated. Now, I don't understand why coffee would bloat you. Like, I'm so confused about that. But I love some coffee. But this, to me, for an espresso drinker or someone who enjoys, like, the heavier, denser coffee, does not taste like coffee to me. That coffee. This tastes like a lighter coffee. Once you add your creamer and all the things you do, whatever, I feel like that's when it's like, mm, it's like coffee. It's very reminiscent of it. I'll say, like, 80-some percent of it. But it... It's easier once you drink it for so long, you get used to it, and it becomes your coffee. That's kind of like what I feel when it comes to rice coffee. So I will buy this again. Okay, that's that. All right, so the next one was, um, where's my coconut sugar, which I need to get some more. The next one was the vitamins. So I stopped taking vitamins over a year ago. I just stopped taking them. I think I purchased them maybe like once. How long has it been? I might have purchased them once, and it was the Women's Nature Organic. I'll put them here, and I might have taken them for like however many pills was in there, but I haven't bought any since then, and I don't know. I'm 50 now, right? So I'll probably purchase them again and take them. I don't know if I feel a difference. I don't know how to describe what I'm saying, but I don't know if I feel a difference in adding them to what I've already been doing. This is what I've been doing. I actually just got another bottle of vitamin D. I do take vitamin D. I'm not deficient, but I take vitamin D even though I'm not, even though I'm outdoors come spring and summer, I still feel like um, I kind of skip out on the vitamin D a little bit in the summer, but come like fall, winter, spring, I just try to stay on vitamin D because I know the melanin, all the things, we don't get to absorb as much and all the things, right? But I still like to take vitamin D for a lot of reasons. I'll put a few right here, okay? Women's probiotic. So I like this brand. Where's that one? And this gut health. This one is uh, 1.5 probiotic cultures, and this one is 50 billion. So this one definitely has more. It's for women, so it is formulated for us. Okay, I especially feel like because I'm premenopausal, this is definitely needed for me, especially with gut health, right? Because we all know in premenopause or menopausal, we tend to gain a little bit extra more weight five or seven pounds in that gut area. It's a lot going on with our bodies in regards to like hot flashes, mood swings, memory loss like, it's a lot going on. <laughs> Okay, we already know this. It's, it's a huge list. I wish I could think of the lady's name right now, this doctor I follow, but um, I'm sure you could find her on TikTok and Instagram because she's widely known. If I think about it, I'll put her down below. But anyway, it's a lot that goes on with our body. So I try to make sure I get prebiotics and probiotics into my body and I focus on my gut health. So this right here contains pre and probiotic cultures, supports healthy digestive system. So I just take either one. I got a couple of bottles of this actually just stocked up. But I recently went back and purchased this one again. And it's not that many left. You see, I've been on this one more than this one. So yeah. Now we all know I take CMOS every day. I actually probably just need to get another bottle again. I swear these months go by so fast, y'all. But anyway, this is the Iris CMOS, which includes bladderwack and burdock root. It's always linked in my link tree. I've been taking this faithfully now for over a year, right? And I don't even think about not taking them. I don't even think about not taking them. I just get up, I take them. I get up, I take them. Like, it's just a normal thing with me with water. I just take them. I just take them every morning. It's just, I have created this habit. And I love the way I feel on this. I did a, like, a test for myself with no vitamins, all raw foods, and just this, right? And I'm telling you, I had the most energy. I felt the best I've ever felt in my entire life. And it was amazing. It was the most amazing experience, right? So I was trying to encourage everybody to go get these. 
But um, they do have the sea moss in like the gel form. If you're interested in that, they have the actual raw sea moss where you can make your own gels, paste, whatever you want to do with them. And then, they, of course, they have the capsules. I like the capsules because it's just easy for me to pop them. I get the benefit of burnout root and bladder whack, which is good for your thyroid. One's good for metabolism. I'm just saying. I always like these. And every time they put them on sale, I try to let y'all know they're on sale. I did get an email this morning that the... Uh, black seed oil is back on sale. So I already have a backup bottle in there anyway. So yeah, I just popped two of these a day. But these are the black seed oil cold press. So I'm going to tell you this. Black seed oil to me is like the best oil. I would say oil of oregano, black seed oil, castor oil. Those are my three. Either one of those... <sighs> Just get them either in your body or on your body. Preferably castor oil on like in your navel or like for certain areas, like especially for us women in menopause, you can look it up. But or we'll talk about that another time. But black seed oil internally and castor oil internally or the oil of oregano. Good health, friend. Let's get this gut health going. <laughs> We got we got to do what we got to do when we get to this age, okay? And if you can do this before you get to this age, please do it. Anyway, so black seed oil, this is what I take every day. And that's all I've been doing. That's all I do. And I might get back to taking my vitamins because I don't know the difference. I really don't know the difference. I've just been feeling very good, especially if I'm drinking a lot of juice and I'm eating raw foods. I'm sure internally there's a difference. <laughs> but on the outside... The way my skin feels, the way I feel, my energy levels, I don't really see a difference. So I like to see or feel a difference to, for me to feel like I, I'm getting the benefit of it. So I will be going back to do some more blood work soon. I think it's the first of summer, around June or something. I think I'm scheduled. So maybe if I start taking it and maybe I'll order a pack and then just see what the results are. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So, oh, one more thing. I know y'all asked me about this hopper. Y'all asked me about the hopper and... For the Nama J2 juicer, the Nama C2 juicer. These are those are the juicers that this actually fits on. And yes, I, I mean, I don't I don't know what to say. I'm excited. Y'all know I'm excited. I, I love Nama. This is like a no-brainer for me. Um, yeah, if you juice, you juice a lot, you batch juicing, and you're juicing like watermelon. Y'all know, y'all know the things. I just feel like this is just, you just throw it all in there, walk away, do what you got to do, come back, and this juice is there. Like, I, I just love this, right? And this is the difference in size, since y'all said I went too fast on the um, TikTok or the short or whatever. I already did a video on it for those who missed out the video. It's the last uploaded video, but it's 50% larger than original hopper. And I think when we first got this, we thought this was big. <laughs> I thought it was big. Anybody else? I thought it was big. So many of y'all ordered these accessories. Shout out to y'all for ordering accessories. And yes, 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 yes. For those who asked on the short, this is the little um, pulp scraper. This is the top. Of course, it's seal. And so if you do have something with added pulp. So somebody said, why would you want the pulp? You need the fiber. But unfortunately, there are some people in the world who bodies can and, and cannot adjust, cannot ingest a lot of fiber. It actually causes like sometimes irritable bowel syndrome and stuff like that for certain people. So it just depends on their medical condition, what they're going through, or maybe the fact that uh, people, some people are, um, is it tactile or texture like people where they can't have the pieces in their mouth or whatever. So they'll just, you know what I'm saying? So I've gotten to the point where I can do it now, but at one point I couldn't either. But I don't feel like you need a strainer. I feel like the Nama does a really good job. And here's the new bucket for your pulp please put it back into your garden and then your pitcher 90 what is it 95 96 what is that I keep forgetting it is 96 ounces okay so that is the questions answered i hope and yeah this is pops back on like this it has like a little tab thing on top okay i gotta put it on right and it just sits on like this for easy storage you just pop everything um, it's stackable. All right, so let's talk about the groceries we picked up today. I am so ready for spring and summer. It's about to go down. Like, literally, spring and summer, we're talking about watermelons and pineapples. I mean, I'm so excited. The, the strawberries right now in the stores look horrible, but I bought two packs anyway. So, yeah, let's get into that. I think I'm going to eat a lot of raw foods this week. If I do, I'll just try to share with you all. It's been a lot. I've just been really enjoying me. I know I haven't uploaded as much as I would normally upload. I want to apologize in advance. I've been trying to upload shorts in the midst of 
but I've been doing a lot of like um, more like soul searching and just isolation things <laughs> and um, my mind doesn't say pick up the camera I've just been doing right just living and doing so I need to get back on it I'm sorry all right Kalamata I Kalamata olives for my salads this week which are really good and tasty and a little twang a little little something extra to your um, salads I end up getting quite a bit of these cucumbers for probably juicing. I don't really like to eat these. They don't taste that great to me. Unless they're out the garden. I think I end up getting um, six total. So, they have my little smell good bag from Twisted Lily. How cute is that? I smell good. I like this little uh, canvas bag. Alright, what else we got? I also stopped at Kroger's. Because I told y'all sometimes Kroger's will have like markdowns on some stuff. And they had these bags. Of organic carrots for a dollar so I got these I'll probably just juice these today I, I stopped and got that this morning long story short girl my washing machine not working something's wrong with it and I need to get it repaired so I um had to go to wash the tear <laughs> okay it's expensive I did not know the wash the tear was three dollars and fifty cent a load and the door is so tiny the drum is so tiny like we had to do seven loads <laughs> Mushrooms from Corvella, Cordabellas, and then um, these are actually from HEB yesterday. I left these out. I need to juice these. All right, so let's get into what we purchased on today from, from Aldi. So, uh, Aldi has their, um, what do you call it? All their grapes and blackberries and blueberries, uh, trees and bushes already ready on sale for $5.99. So, if you're interested in growing some, Go get them. They had the red grapes, the green grapes, and they also had flowers and bulbs. So, and I think they had like hydrangeas and all that too. So you can go ahead and start your planning for spring at affordable price. Okay. Some mandarins. I think they were $2.99. They're just easy to like peel. They're easier to me than um, oranges. You know, they're more tangy, but I don't mind that. I did get a red cabbage from Kroger too today because I can't get this from anywhere else at a is it cabbage? Is this what, what is this called? Red cabbage? Purple cabbage? Yeah, it's purple, girl. I got a bag. I thought this was some mess. A whole bag of bananas. I'm not about to take them out because I'm going to probably freeze half of these. Girl, they'll eat the rest. They on spring break. They eat, these will go so fast. But I'm probably going to freeze a little bit more than half of these for smoothies and smoothie bowls this week for myself. Since I'm back on this. Ooh, I'm trying to consume as much raw food as I can. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. So the pineapples look really sad this week. They're $1.69 at Aldi, but they just, they don't look like, they're kind of little. They don't look like they would normally look. But anyway, I got three pineapples, and we're just going to do what we always do. Cut off the tops, turn them upside down, wait for them to get juicy. That's all we're going to do. So, that's that. I also picked this up. They had a candle there. The Coconut Grove. It smells really good, actually. The one that says cucumber leaf smells good, but it smells more leafy than, cu than cucumber. So, I was like, mm. I like cucumber melon. You remember those who smell at Bath and Body Works. But this one smells really good and clean and kind of creamy. So, I'm going to probably burn this today. And then, I picked up... Check on my grocery list. Girl, 61 jewelers. For what? Some of this, because y'all know I like to put this on top of every salad. Every salad, every wrap. Yep. And then I picked up some cilantro. Two bags, because I don't have any. I just have parsley outside, which I could have ate parsley instead of cilantro, but I'm thinking about doing a taco salad later. So I ended up getting three of these um, celery socks. Or bunches, or what they're going to call them. Three of these. And, oh yeah, some of these. Some snacking sugar snaps. We can never grow these here. Maybe I don't start growing them early enough, but it gets hot here too quick for these. They die. All right. Since we raw eating this week, I might I might add a soup or a wrap or something, like with some chickpeas. I might roll some chickpeas, but for the most part, I'm trying to eat as much raw food. Some onions, some more ginger. You know, I'd rather get this from the Asian market. I got it from Aldi. $2.29 for these avocados. 
Uh, these were on sale for like a dollar twenty nine, I think. The bell peppers. Got those. Ooh, girl, I can't wait for summer. I don't have to go buy this stuff. Jalapenos were like fifty five cents for this whole container, or ninety five cents, something like that. I'm able to cheat. And then some more shelled walnuts. These don't have any salt or anything. They're not raw per se. I wonder, are they raw? I don't know. They don't have nothing on them. It just says walnuts. There's nothing. So maybe they are raw. Anyway, they're on sale for $4.99, which is the cheapest I've ever paid for a bag of walnuts, okay? And then, because you know, I, I'll use them for my walnut meat. Okay. Alright, so then I got these sad looking strawberries for $1.69. They look horrible. I'm just going to wash them, slice them in half, put them on my tray, and freeze them for smoothie bowls anyway. I'm not going to eat that, so, yeah. Some super sweet snackers, the tomatoes. Oh, girl. Some that is around the corner. We'll be, we'll be picking our own tomatoes from our own tree. Some avocado oil for my salad dressings and my wraps to come. And sweet potatoes for some sweet potato juice or a sweet potato smoothie. Something like that. I had a taste for that pumpkin spice sweet potato juice I made before. <laughs> Another thing of strawberries. So I guess I'll put this stuff up. Let me show you the fridge. It looks horrible. It's empty. Let me show you. It's supposed to be a fingerprint free fridge, but as you see, it's not. All right. So cleaned it out this morning, and this is what we got. Nothing. I did get these this week at HEB. They had these for two for five. I thought this was a good price. So um, the organic spring mix, this pack. I mean, I'm gonna eat the whole container for, at once. So, so two dollars and fifty cents for a salad. That's not bad, right? Anyway, so still have ginger in here. I like the ginger from the Asian market. I don't know why. Still have a few like fruits and stuff, but for the most part, I'm not about to wash hardly none of this stuff because when I get ready to juice it, I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna tell you why I'm not washing stuff too. So. Um, we came home the other day, and it was water on the floor, just a little bit, and I opened the cabinet, and there's a pipe underneath my sink that's messed up, so I kind of was like, oh, let me turn the water off, but I don't know if me turning the water off made the pressure go to another pipe or what happened, but I woke up the next morning, water was all over the place, so my kitchen flooded the day before yesterday, so they'll come fix it Monday because they say it's not emergency since I'm, we got the water off or whatever. Not the whole house of water, but just the water to the kitchen. So I'm not really washing nothing right now until they come. Everything else, I'm gonna have to do like, fill them up with bowls of water and then like wash it like that in bowls and stuff and let like the fruits and vegetables sit from using water from like the bathroom or something. I'm just not putting my food in the bathroom sink though. We're gonna use the bowls. <laughs> But that's why I'm not washing stuff today. Just so you know. So I know somebody's gonna be like, why is she just gonna wash it? I don't mind washing it as I juice. It doesn't bother me. So, yeah. Or washing them as I eat them, you know? Anyway, I um, wanted to go to Joe V's, which is a, it's under the umbrella of HEB. It's just a more affordable store that they normally put in like lower income areas. And I love going to Joby's, but I figured eh, this would be enough to hold me for right now. Plus, I'm going to go outside and try to get some some stuff from out the garden and see what we can get real quick before I let y'all go. I hope y'all are doing good. Anybody else ready for spring or summer? I'm just saying. Anybody else? Has anybody converted over to like plant-based eating or made the choice to um, like be more cognizant of what they're eating or just intake and whatever has anybody changed their diet in any way let us know down below and let us know how you feel about it oh also someone posted in the comments on the last video they asked everybody to please tell them how they felt about the nama did they think it was worth it like the amount it's expensive girl the now all these juices are expensive girl but i feel it so if please girl no ma'am this got mold on there already oh one of them does oh Two of them. This is why I need to grow my own fruit. This is why. Okay, I'm going to wash these. Yeah, these got to be washed. I'm just going to wash the whole tray. I'm going to wash all these real quick. All right, so if you can, just let us know down below. 
Uh, maybe I'll put a pin comment and say, let us know what you feel about the NAMA. Do you think it's worth it? Yes or no? Or, yeah, maybe, I don't know if we can do a, a questionnaire thing on a video. I know you could do it on a short or a post, but um, we could do it in a post too. That'll help other people decide on whether or not they want to invest in something like this. I just think that um, it's up to you ultimately. It's your money. You know what I'm saying? It's your money, your health. What do you feel will aid you in your journey? You know what I'm saying? Do you think you will actually use it, you know, at least twice a week? Are you going to get your money's worth? I always say cost per use or cost per wear. I'm not buying nothing if I'm not wearing it uh, more than once. And I, if I'm not going to use it more than once or twice a week, you know, to me, it wouldn't be worth the money. Because I feel like it's a lot to use it for, but are you going to use it? Like, we're not going to have these machines sitting up here getting dust, you know, collecting dust. Right? So, yeah. All right, it's time to rotate these avocados out the fridge into the bowl and we'll put the green ones in all right one of these i think went no good christopher said he felt like it wasn't any good i don't know we go through so many of these a week i think it's this one i don't know and i'll be eating a lot of raw foods i like um salad dressings made with avocados or anything that I need creamy, you know what I'm saying? And when they start to look like this anyway, I just cut them up and freeze them and throw them in smoothies. So we're not throwing nothing away, okay? This one will probably go into something today. I think the number one complaint I get from people when I shop at Aldi is this. This plastic. And it's crazy. I get it. But I recycle and stuff, so I'm not really tripping. And then sometimes if I have an option like the cucumbers, you know, take a bag or those nama bags that are like the lighter bags the veggie bags but um yeah i get it it's annoying i totally get it y'all are like why do you keep buying stuff in these bags girl all this is cheap <laughs> on the cool <laughs> it ain't cheap sometimes to just eat healthy sometimes it costs a little bit more if you're looking for something organic and all that kind of stuff it's just i don't know i'd rather shop at all these all the the all these yeah, I need to get the sprouts. I haven't been to sprouts in a while. And I need to look and see what's on their sale at. If it's good, we'll go by there and check them out this week. But, um, yeah. Girl, these tomatoes on the vine from Kroger's were really good this week. Which is crazy because I don't really like tomatoes like that um, from the store. Look how I see this shiny stuff? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to remind them they have to wash everything as they eat it. Everything. So anyway, let me go ahead and grab some shoes or grab my boots and we can go outside and harvest a little bit real quick. And then, um, yeah, I had a girls come clean up my mess that I made. This. Oh, I didn't make a big mess. I just had bags on for them. Okay, I should clean that up. And um, go from there. Let me know what y'all want to see from me this week besides our chit chat about isolation and um, why I decided to do it and how I'm feeling about it. Uh, yeah. We'll talk about it. We're going to get real but about it, too, because y'all know me. I'm going to be real. All right, so let me put these in here. <sighs> y'all know I can't do the gnats. <laughs> it's about to be spring time. We're going through this cool weather thing, too, where it's going to be cool and then get warm. I'm liable to have gnats, so we in Texas. <sighs> I'm not about that life. I'm not about that life. All right. Let's go outside. We're not prepping none of this today, friend. We're not prepping none of this today. I need some more mushrooms, so that's for sure. Let's go outside. We're and we got walnuts. Oh, we got a whole container of walnuts here. Somebody left me a, um, a shot. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> They drank up the rest of them. Woo! Ginger and turmeric with pineapple. That's good. Alright, that's going in there. Let's get these in here. With some bacon soda or something. Oh, they don't even fit. That's okay, I'll wash them. Like the vacuum going, because you know who got hair everywhere. She keeps shedding. We brush her every other day, but she just, whoo, it's that time of year, I guess. I don't know. 
Um, look at all these tomatoes, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see these. Can y'all see all those little tomatoes on here? It's a ton of little tomatoes on this one. And it's a ton over here, too. They're just everywhere. Oh my goodness, Cook and Grow. I love the Cook and Grow. It's so, it's so cool. And for a quick update, so it's been 12 days? I doubt if it's been 12 days. I can go look at the app. But since I planted these um, pods and put my own seeds in, remember I told you all about these little pod things? And I put seeds in here. And yeah, we already have lettuce. Lettuce and basil and uh, this is supposed to be cut soy but i moved it so i don't know where it's at i switched them around but this hopefully will be a whole huge like lettuce tower um it's all the way down it's lettuce all the way down it's gonna be so cool so um, i'm excited about that let me grab my boots like i just said these are bananas i'm gonna sit out for a while i've already asked them not to eat them <laughs> I need them to be a little bit more like spotted so I can freeze them so they can be like really good or whatever. And then this is the uh, bananas I told them to eat. This is their leftover pizza from Costco yesterday. I went to Costco for toilet paper. I don't know how I ended up spending so much money at Costco just for like um, just everyday stuff. It wasn't even like groceries. I don't even think I, oh, I bought them some chicken patties or something. Just stuff to wash dishes with in toilet paper. And I was like, 80 dollars. I don't know if it's a day party or what, but there's music going on out here. So if I hear it over the uh, the film, I'm going to have to put some music on here. Okay? Alright, so it feels good out here. It's like 60 degrees. It was 50 something earlier. I think it's going to be the low of like 50 tonight, but we're not getting really freezing temps, so I think we'll be good on like everything that's growing. Um, yeah, where do I start? I just want to grab a few things from the garden for like wraps. I'm not gonna grab a lot, cause, like I said, I haven't been able to just wash like I want to wash in my sink. I've been having washing bowls, um, which is just started yesterday. It's not like I've been having to, but you know what I mean. So let's get us some um, parsley here. I just want some for, um, what is that? I want this, uh, oh, it's loud. I'm gonna look good for some salads. Let me bring y'all over here. We have some shard. This shard look okay. So I'm gonna get some of these tender leaves. Some of these older leaves don't look that great once they start growing or whatever. But I like them when they're like this. When they're the, uh, like the rhubarb shard or whatever you call it with the red. I was gonna say piping. <laughs> the red vein. Um, I saw one the other day that looks really good over here. This one right here. Uh, let me show you. This one right here looks really good. Don't it look good? Oh, yeah. It's windy. Uh, Y'all hear my wind chimes? Oh my God, they're so loud. All right. It'll be fine. They get so big so fast. Tomatoes grow so quickly. Um, what else we got over here? We got a lot of greens in this one. We got a ton of greens in this one, but I didn't come outside for this. Hold on, it's another one flopping. All right, so um, this one looks good too. There's a lot of really good pretty mint in here too. See that? That looks amazing. I don't feel like eating it right now, but I might throw it in some juice this week for sure. Oh, man, like a day. You miss a day and you miss the window or broccoli. It's already starting to have um, yellow flowers. It's already starting to open, which broccoli is a flower. Um, I'm going to eat it anyway. <laughs> Y'all already know. I, I just, I'm just going to do what I do. I'm going to eat this anyway. Now, the ones that's like this, 
I'm not gonna eat. I let the other ones go to flower and grab some seeds. But yeah. Anyway, um, we have a bunch of this kale right here. Y'all know this right here is so good. Mash. I did a mash kale uh, video salad or whatever. Check that out if you're interested in my favorite mash kale salad. And then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of kale before I come back inside. Baby, you look good. Beautiful. Ooh, all this in a pressure cooker. I'm about to eat all this. Hold on. These are some greens. Yes. But I just sounds eating raw food. Oh well. I, I feel like, I don't know. We'll see. I don't cut it now. Look at that curly kale. That blue carrot. Look at how this, oh, this just looks so good. Ah, I want to cut it all, but hold on, let me get back here. Ah. I used to go to Sprouts to get this back in the day. The blue kale, I used to love to go to Sprouts, but. I can just get it from my garden. <laughs> it keeps giving and giving and giving. It's like, it just keeps giving. The blue kale, the dinosaur kale, it just keeps giving. This one looks pretty. This is rainbow shard. Definitely a difference. You see these veining? Definitely a difference. And the rhubarb shard. Keep cutting so it can come back again. Beautiful colors. So beautiful. It's yellow back here too. I'm gonna show you. See the yellow? All right, and this is just regular shard. Mm. Strawberries are starting to grow again already. Already. I'm gonna go ahead and pick off this uh, spinach while we're here because I hadn't picked off of it in a couple days and I wanted to keep producing. So let me go ahead and let me just chop this like this. Look how beautiful this uh, spinach looks. Doesn't it look good? It's behind this cabbage because once this starts to form, It'll be time for my spinach to be gone because spinach can only take like certain temps or whatever. So, yeah, they're starting to like turn on you at the wall. So, yep. So, here is today's harvest from the backyard. Just a small one, just a few things the dinosaur kale, the curly kale, some mustard, some. Actually, they're giant mustards. They're southern giant mustards. We can take some of our heat. Some rainbow shards, some regular shards, some rhubarb shard. One strawberry, a little bit of broccoli. Yeah, I'm going to eat these anyway. I eat everything, Jai. All right, so that's the robo vac you in the background. That is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, hanging out with me today. I tried to do at least five videos in a row this week. Let's see how it goes. And... I'm about to make me a salad. I'll go ahead and do a short on it or something like that. Just show y'all what I'm tossing in a bowl and what I'm eating today for lunch. But I'm going to go ahead and edit this video, get up for you all. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll try to address them like this in the video. Hopefully it helps not just you, but others too. Just remember to come back and watch the next video. I'll see y'all the next one. Thank you all for all your love and support once again. I'm almost done filling all the soil in the new garden. Um, Y'all know the planters. What do you call those? Those metal beds. I did leaves, sticks, six leaves, and some organic soil. I even bought some bags yesterday from that's where I spent the money on Costco. They have these soil bags, the in ground and garden raised bed soil for $7.99, something like that, regular $10.99. And so that's why I ended up spending my money on. That's why I went to Costco. I knew it was something. Okay, so I have to finish that today. See you on the next one. Peace.